Who doesn't want to be happy? Since we are little, we are taught that the purpose of life is to be happy. But if that's the case, what's so hard to actually be it? Perhaps it's because we got happiness all wrong. Hello all, this is Juan Cruz from Innerize and in this video we'll dive deep into why it's so hard to be happy. Coke's marketing is very intelligent. For decades they pounded in our heads that somehow in a sort of magical moment, Drinking their beverage brings us happiness. After years of conditioning through TV ads and street posters, we ended up associating happiness with drinking coke. And of course, everyone wants to be happy, so who wouldn't drink it? The feeling of happiness is the most precious thing we have. Although it's difficult to put what it feels like into words, we've all felt it at some point in our lives. When we won that tennis match we prepared for months, when our sons or daughters were born, when we got that race, or when we finally finished college. For a few minutes, or if you're lucky, hours or days, Life is going our way and we are finally receiving what we deserved. Unfortunately, after the emotional rush diminish, we come back to our everyday normal state everyone is so familiar with, wishing that our happiness could be maintained at least for a bit longer. But that never really happens and there's a reason why. Life is hard, especially in nature. There are dangerous predators lurking around that could kill you in an instant, natural disasters can destroy everything you know and love, and deadly diseases are very common. Through millions of years, evolution took care of designing living species that could adapt to the dangerous environment and survive for as long as possible to reproduce and continue the race. Tigers are strong, birds can fly, snakes produce venom to defend themselves, each and every living being is a magnificent result of evolution doing its job, but there's one invention that stands out from all of them, the human mind. Our minds are a powerful survival tool. They help us plan ahead, prepare ourselves before anything bad happens, invent things that never existed before, and project ourselves into the future. But even though this ability differentiated us from every other living being in the planet, and is responsible for every invention and discovery we ever made, it's also the reason why it's so hard for us to be happy. The mind is a survival mechanism and it's built for the sole purpose of helping us persist. It's designed to be in the constant lookout for dangers and way in which it can promote our survival. In the past, it helped us look for food, avoid dangerous predators and prepare for bad weather. And now it's helping us succeed in the professional world, look for a nice partner and make money so we can live in a big house. So even though the context changed dramatically for the human beings in the past thousand years, our mind's main goal is still the same, to survive. But wait, having we said in the beginning of the video that our purpose was to be happy? Well, not really. If we think about it long and hard and ask what happiness really is, we will realize that for us, happiness is getting what we want and avoiding the things that make us suffer. But that sounds an awful lot to surviving, just as animals and our ancestors did. Each time that we get something we desired, whether that's a race, an A-plus in a test, or a marriage proposal, we experience an emotional rush that we associate with the feelings of happiness. But this rush is always short-lived and tends to disappear rather quickly. But why? Soon after we accomplish what we wanted, our minds will be looking for the next thing to pursue, because as we've seen, it's a survival machine. After a while, we forget about our achieved goals and create new ones to keep us moving and persisting. All because we believe that the next one will for sure make us finally happy. Just like the mouse on a wheel trying to reach that delicious cheese, we keep striving to put our hands on happiness. But no matter how fast we run, it's never enough. Everything we do will bring at best a few hours of excitement, but it's never the long-lasting happiness we are searching for. In other words, for the sake of survival, our minds trick us to keep striving for new goals and objectives with the promise of everlasting happiness. But that promise never comes true because if the mouse managed to grab the cheese, he would stop running and the mind is very scared about that possibility. But how could that even happen? Getting what we want and avoiding what we don't want is not happiness, it's simply survival at work and the mind doing its job. So what's happiness then? We say we want happiness but we don't even know what it is. Happiness is simply being happy with whatever happens. It's a state of contentment and acceptance whether or not life goes our way or not. 
We don't have to wait until we get what we want to feel that way. We can be happy even when we are suffering, when we are sad, or we don't get what we want. In true happiness, there's no desire because everything is as it should be in the present moment. There's no goal to attain and no thing to buy that will make our experience better in some way. Everything is in a way perfect. So we don't need to get what we want to be happy. We just need to be happy. It's that simple. Being happy is not winning or surviving or being successful. Being happy is being happy. Culturally, we confuse the feeling of winning that comes when we effectively survive with happiness and design the narrative and even a society around this misunderstanding. No wonder why it's so hard for us to be it. We got happiness completely backwards and confuse it with feelings that are not it. So in this moment, I want to invite you to try for yourself just being happy, no matter what happens. Try being happy when you fail your exams, when you're bored at work, when you feel sick, and when things don't go as you expected. With time, you'll realize that you didn't need all your dreams accomplished and life going your way to actually be happy. You just needed to understand what happiness really is and make a conscious effort to actually be it. And by doing so, you go against the mind's natural state of striving for survival, and that's extremely liberating. So that's it, thank you very much for watching till the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might need some inspiration. When you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, the YouTube algorithm helps this video spread, which is extremely useful. See you soon.